Let's tie Kathy's Fleeing Crab by Kathy Beck. We begin with a Tiemco 811S. This is in a size 4. Thread we're using is 140 pound, 140 denier uni in fluorescent green. Tie it in, lay down a base of thread. We've got a pair of 530 seconds for this hook, a 530 seconds pair of dazzle. Uh, hourglass eyes, dumbbell eyes, and I'm just going to do cross wraps and then bring it around also, no figure eights. I like to go three, three, three times around, three one way, three the other way, three times around, and it really racks that dumbbell. And I also put a little, sometimes I put a little drop of uh, super glue there to nail it down. Now the dumbbell eyes are not really the eyes of the of the crab. They're just there to make that hook fall so that it's point up when it falls or lands. And I take that thread back into the bend just where it starts to bend. I got some tan marabou, little bunch. And tie it in right there. I'm trying to keep the material as much as I can on the top of the hook. So I'll bring it back up all the way up into behind the eyes and then trim off that excess and then bring it back, be a little bit more picky when it comes to wrapping the rest of that abdomen. Now I've got three or four strands of flashaboo just to give the, the claw section or tail section, it's actually the claws is what this is representing, of the fly just to give it a little hint of flash. It's again tied off behind the eyes and we'll bring it back to my tie-in point. Now I'm trying to even out the body as much as possible right now also. Now I've got a piece of brown marabou and I make it the same length as the tan marabou that I first set down. It looks a little reddish orange here, more burnt, but it's actually brown. Once again, try to even out my wraps and bring that thread back into my tie-in point. Now I have several strands of EP fiber in tan and I take a strip off that when you push it together, you twist it together, it's about the thickness of a piece of lead, graphite lead. And I've cut each of these sections at an inch and a half. And what I'm going to do is do cr two cross, cross wraps in both directions and then one wrap in the front. At least two cross, sometimes more. And I'm really trying to snug up that knot to the back of the fly. And this is going to fo form the shell portion of my, of my, my crab. Now what I like to do is take a pair of alligator clips because I saw moms doing this to their little girls when they would braid hair and I clip it back there to keep it out of the way so that I can do my X wraps a little bit easier. Now I've got another piece of EP hair, inch and a half long, about a thickness of diameter of a pencil lead or graphite pencil when you twist it and I tie it in up snug to the next one. Now what I'll do is, okay, two wraps, one direction, two wraps, two cross wraps the other direction. No, 
oh, I just did one. But I'll nail it down. It ain't going nowhere. Once again, I'll gather that all back up and clip it. It just helps me to keep things straight and out of the way of each other. Now, I've got a pair of uh, Hot Tip Silly Legs. These are the ones by Wopsy. And what you do is end up putting uh, three sets or, or three pairs of legs. And I'll cross wrap, wrap that also. I'm evening it out right now. And this color happens to be pearl with fluorescent orange tips. The main thing you got to worry about here is, well, and it doesn't, it's not so bad with the thicker pieces of thread, but on some of the thinner pieces of thread, you could actually wrap it hard enough to cut through this silicone rubber. So I drop a leg. I've already, I laid down two, two sections of EP fibers. I'm laying down a leg, a pair of legs, then I'm going to lay down another two, two sections of EP fiber, and then lay down another leg, two sections more. So I've got three sections of legs and four sections of the tan EP fibers. And my intent is just to snug it up from the previous bunch. Once again, pull everything back, one wrap. Gather it all back again. Now you don't have to do this with the alligator clip. It just makes it easier to get in there with your thread and making sure you secure each of those, either the uh, EP fibers or the uh, silly legs. Once again, push everything back, snug it up, and then I'll clip it off again. So once again, to repeat, I got two sections of EP fibers, a leg, two sections again of EP fiber, a leg, two sections again, one more leg, and then two sections of EP fiber. And it fills in, and you'll trim it so you get a little disc. Just laying down a couple more sections of EP fibers. I like this stuff because when it gets wet, it doesn't hold the water, so it doesn't turn into a wet rag when you go back to cast it again. And it's somewhat rigid, so it's really nice, but it's got that little bit of a sheen, doesn't hold water, and it holds its shape pretty good. Pull back everything and clip it off. Once again, another section of EP fibers. You don't have to be too picky. You just want the uh, those EP fibers to be halfway through and then on top of the top of the uh, hook. The more important thing is to snug it up to the previous bunch. That's the bigger deal. Clip it back. Add another set of legs, and then I'll have you two more sections of EP fibers.
one more bunch of EP fibers. And that's my last bunch. So I've got it right up against the eyes. Now I'll do two whip finishes, two sets of three for a whip finish. One and another set. Trim my thread. Now I'm going to pull my legs down and actually clip them to that alligator clip. And it'll help me keep the legs out while I trim that, that hair back. I'm gathering up all those fibers and I'm trying to cut basically a half circle. So I'll come in from an angle, go around like you would on like a half circle, and then go back, finish in to port, pointing towards the tail. Doesn't have to be perfect, and you can always trim it some more. And now to do it on the other side. The biggest hassle here is just gathering up the fibers. Now I'm going to take my legs, gather them all together, and trim them. As far as the length goes, it's probably one and a half times the length of the whole fly. And that's my Kathy's clean crab. I'm just touching up some of the hairs. You always got loose hairs when you work with EP fibers.